Hey, this is Daryl. I want to welcome you to today's video. We're going to be talking about five different approaches that you can take to get to the six in the key of A flat. Every musician wants to work on multiple ways of doing the same thing. And so today I'm going to give you five approaches that's going to help you to get to the six in the key of A flat. Let's get started. So let me just go to the key of A flat. And we want to get to this minor chord. Okay, so couple things did that you want to know you want to be able to play a basic seven three six so let me just show you that first chord G minor seven flat five so next chord we got the C seven with the sharp nine and sharp five and then we've got the six okay so I won't break that break those chords down but I just wanted to show them to you couple things that you can do is one is not really doing a, a whole lot in there but just doing some simple movement so one thing you can do let me play it down here let me show you that so that's the first thing you can do is you can you, you can manipulate that relationship between the minor chord and this major chord. So we just take in this B flat minor, A flat, B flat minor. So we're doing ba 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 ba. And once we get to this B flat minor again, we'll use A flat as a grace note. So ba ba. Okay, and that's on a on a seven. And that's and 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 that's the first base you can start. And I kind of kind of dumbed this chord down a little bit, uh, which which actually still sounds nice. I'm just playing the C triad. Okay. And I'm taking this C triad. To like an augmented type of sound because I'm just raising the fifth on that C and then when I get to the minor so G and the B flat and the F and A flat so that's just something that you can do to just to color that up another thing you can do is that same same movement you can you can Build that out with a tenth in your left hand just to add some more foundation to it. So you can go. So that, that sounds real nice. So, so you want to be able to execute that tenth where you got the G minor, you got the fifth of G minor, which is the D. I'm sorry, you have the G, you got the fifth, and then you have the tenth, which is the B flat. And these are these are chords you don't get unless you just work them out. Okay, so you got see how nice that, that, that sounds. So the same, I'm doing the same thing. So now what I'm doing, instead of just playing that bass basic with just the C, I'm I'm adding this C7 chord. I remember before I was just playing this, but I got the C7 in my left hand and I'm playing the, I'm gonna make this a uh, C7 with, with a flat five for a second. I'm walking that G flat into the G, so blah, blah. And then I'm going, but again, I'm adding more depth to my left hand just to fill, just to fill it out. And I have the, the, the F, I have the fifth of the F, I have the E flat and I have the G. So just, to just adding a nice feel to it now, just filling it out. So. Same progression, just just adding a, a nuance to it. Let me add another nuance to it, where I don't 
not just playing the tenth. Maybe I want to do something like this. See how that sounds? The same, the same chord. But that's the first way. But it's another way. And that, and and that B just adds a whole nother flair to it. We got a nice dissonance tapping it with the the B and the uh, and the B flat. So you got the G, the F, the B. Same movement. And then same thing I was doing. Okay. So I'm going to give you one more way just to make this pop even more. So you can go. So let me just, just pop it out even a little more. You can go. So let me let me give you that because I'm doing the same thing here, so I don't need to break that down here. Now on this, I'm playing the I'm just playing a D chord over the C. D, I'm I'm sorry, uh, the A D G flat, and then here what I'm doing is I'm playing this E D flat E flat G. So. I'm playing the same chord there on the six. So I just gave you multiple ways of doing the same thing, but each way is going to give you a different nuance. And, uh, you know, I think it's something that you can kind of just work out and just add it to the overall plan. I really hope this training was beneficial for you and that you learned some stuff. If you want to learn some more, I encourage you to click the link in the description right now. And when you go to that link, you'll be able to get access to a 50-minute training in which I cover some concepts just like this, concepts that will help take your playing to the next level. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to get that training for free, just go down and click the link in the description and we'll show you how to make that happen. Thanks again for watching this training. We look forward to working with you again real soon.